Hello and welcome to another video on fun times and good times. And they are up here boys having a great Friday. I know I put this out Friday, I think it's going out Friday, hopefully. Okay, and they're up here boys having a great Friday. A couple of mentions, a couple of shout outs. As always, if you leave your name in the comments, I always give you a shout out. So I'll also. Well, I mean, if you comment on my last video, I'll give you a shout out. You know what I mean. Okay. Hello to uh, Carol in Wales again. Hello. Good to read all your comments. Oh, it's great to have you along. My number one fan, I think. Yes. <laughs> I love it. And my other number one fan is, of course, my fiance Lorraine, up in Scotland. Hello, Lorraine, as well. And hello to all my other lovely subscribers as well. Please do comment along. I do like to read the comments. And I do like to mention your name as well when you comment along. Okay. Now then, this video is called uh, Memories of Children's Programmes 2.1. Part 2.1. That's called Part, part 2.1, which is hard to say, apparently. <laughs> because the other day we did a video, the same video, and I actually uh, put an age restriction on it but I, uh, for some unknown reason. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I found out that nobody could watch the video. So, I'll be watching the Don't Do That again. I think a couple of people saw the video, but uh, it has to you need to verify your age by giving your credit card details and that. And, well, uh yeah, I don't want anybody doing that, so uh, we'll make sure all the videos are not age restricted from now on. So this is Memories of Children's Programmes 2.1 and we'll get starting by going through the round window. Yes, we're going through the round window and it's Play School. I think everybody watched Play School, well nearly everybody. Every day you had Big Ted, Little Ted. Ambo Jemima, Umpty Dumpty, and all the presenters as well, like Floella Benjamin, who's actually a Baroness now. Derek Griffiths, he started in Coronation Street for a time as well. Aye, he was in Coronation Street. He had loads Jolly Ball as well. I'll be coming back to Jolly Ball in a bit. And then we go to another programme called Bag Puss. I was a bit scared of that programme. Because I do have a phobia against dolls, I've said this before. And, yeah. You had the cloth cat. There's a cap. And you had uh, the rag dog thing, which reminds me of the raggy dolls that used to frighten me to death as well. <laughs> and Rosie and Jim on the barge thing, yeah, that was scary to me. I am a fan of dolls. So, uh, I once. Watched a video on YouTube about waxworks all night, I had nightmares. So don't send me any doll pictures or anything like that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, bad puss. Then you went to my favourite programme of all time, my favourite children's programme of all time, called Rent a Ghost. Who remembers Rent a Ghost? I can't remember the name of the bloke that played the jester. I'm perhaps I should have looked it up. I know we called Timothy Claypole in the programme. Uh, that Molly Weyer. Molly Weyer from Scotland. And you also had uh, Sue Nichols, who's actually plays Audrey in Coronary Street now. And Audrey, or Sue Nichols, her character, she was called Nose Popoff. And she used to hold on to her nose like that, and she used to be able to land somewhere else and, and then another place. She doesn't do that in Coronation Street these days. It'd be, it'd make good tell if she did well, don't, wouldn't it? If she rolled onto a nose like that, she was in Gail's house and then she was in the Rovers. It'd make cracking telly. Then it's five to five. No, it's not three minutes past seven or something. It's, uh, yeah, five to five. Cracker Jack. Everybody shout it. Cracker Jack. So many cabbages you can hold in one hand. Or two hands. Stu Francis was the old stuff that. Also the crankiest did they was the old stuff at one time. I think. 
from the work, yeah. They were a great program. And you could win a cracker jack pencil. Everybody shout again, cracker jack. <laughs> then you add Inky Winky Dipsy is it Winky Winky? Tinky Winky, sorry, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La Po, the Teletubbies, them guys with the arrows on top of the red, who had a number one hit at Christmas as well. Oh yeah, and that was sunshine, with the baby's face in the middle. I loved it, I watched the Teletubbies when I was uh, in my twenties, thirties or whatever, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm still watching it now. And then we go off to Johnny Morris. Who could talk to the animals? They thought it were Doctor Do a little. Animal magic. Who remembers that? It's a nature program. Yeah. But Johnny did all the voices. And then we're going to go with Mr. Spoon now. Mr. Spoon. And we're going to Bottom Moon. We've been to Bottom Moon. We follow Mr. Spoon. Mr. Spoon. <laughs> okay. Who remembers that? And the moon was made out of a button. Ah, oh, fantastic program. I love that. I love them all. Then you had Morv. Now Morv started on a program called Take Art with Tony Art. And then Morv got his own program. It was a little plaster scene. Orange thing. Was he orange? I think he was orange. I'm colour blind anyway, so I, I, but I think he was orange. Yeah, and he got his own little programme. And that came from Take Art. Who remembers Take Art as well with uh, Tony Art, like I just said. Then I forgot his name. And <laughs> he had the picture gallery. You could send your, folk, your pictures in, and they had the picture gallery. Let me just have a bit of my tea. Hang on a second. As I sat, sit to my padded cell again. <coughs> yeah, it's padded cell, they, so they don't let me, they've let me out twice this week, so they don't let me out again this week, no. Then you had the Saturday morning programmes. Swap shop with the Lord himself. It should be a Lord. No Edmonds. Oh yeah, but way before they did uh, Dill and Odell. With all those boxes. Yeah, Noel Edmonds, the great man himself. On Swap Shop. Multicoloured Swap Shop, actually. Also, Saturday morning programmes going live. With Philip Schofield. And a woman who can't, I can't remember her name. She was on Blue Peter as well, weren't she? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And Gordon the Gopher. Yeah. Also, Tiswas was on the other side. Also by Chris Tarrant, before he did Millionaire. He wants to be a millionaire. And you had Lenny Henry, then Trevor McDonald, wh Donut, which was a take on Trevor McDonald. Also, there was a programme called Number 73. Now, I asked Lorraine the other day if she remembers that programme, and she doesn't. But it was hosted by Sandy Tuxtiff. I should Google that just to check that. Yeah, don't quote me on that. If you want to Google it, do go Google it. I don't know why you'd want to Google it. I mean, can do if you want. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number 73. Now, favourite programme of mine when I was younger was Mary Mungle Mitch. And I liked it that much. That my wallpaper, I lived in a place called Swinton in Manchester. And I had the wallpaper of Mary Mungle and Mitch. Oh, I loved that programme. Then I can't read my writing. That's good, isn't it? Uh, you know, I sometimes write things out and I look at my writing and I think, what the heck's that say? Uh, I might have to leave that one. And then you had a... Uh, very professional, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I might read on RUN AROUND! Well, that was a bad impression, but we do try. We do try it at fun times and good times. Run around! We might read. Great programme. Had all the kids running around. Now, Carol, you mentioned a couple of programmes. Danger Mouse. I remember Danger Mouse. 
Oh, they were fantastic. And this Pell Penfold as well. And also Inspector Gadget. I never watched Inspector Gadget. But, uh Yeah. Inspector Gadget was uh, on as well. But I don't know much about that programme. So maybe you can make a video and tell me about it. <laughs> oh, I know what that one said. What I couldn't read before. The Famous Five. Who remembers the Famous Five? I had quite a few books of the Famous Five. I ended Blighton, of course. And I did want to collect the old set. But I never managed to get to the old lot of them. But you can name the Famous Five. You had George, Julian, Dick. You had... Uh, Anne, and you had Timmy the dog. That was the famous five. Uncle Quentin and Aunt Fanny was their aunt and uncle. Great programme. They went off and had many adventures and... Yeah. They used to love that programme. And of course, one more. The Clangers. I think everybody loved the Clangers. Uh they, they were talking about well, this thing, this musical instrument where you pull up and down, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, yeah, they, uh, the Clangers, they were fantastic. Weird group that lived in another planet. Anyway, I thought, hope I brought back a few memories of children's programmes too. Yeah, if you get them more, please do leave them in the comments, I will read them. Uh, but that was memories of children's programmes. 2.1 If you've enjoyed the video, please do like and please do subscribe and uh, I'll be back again soon with most children's programmes No, I'll be doing enough subject next time Maybe, you never know I might be just to talk about something else next time Could be anything Until next time th Thanks for watching And from me, Ian And from Times of Good Times Ciao for now.